Hola! This is the enormous team bus belonging to World Tour champions Movistar of Spain. They're the best pro team in 2013, 2014 and in 2015 and have a roster of stars including Naro Quintana and Alejandro Valverde. I can't wait to take a look inside. Straight away the thing that strikes you about this cavernous bus is by me using the very word cavernous, the sense of space. It's absolutely enormous. Doesn't feel like a coach, feels more like a beauty salon, albeit with an unusual color scheme. And in this case, blue and green, being the corporate colors, of course, of Movistar, the telecommunications giant. Let's just test out these ridiculously luscious and comfy looking leather recliners. Now, I do know this is Alejandro Valverde's. I'm sure he won't mind me taking a pew. Oh, you could just roll. Oh, that's so nice. All mod cons, so much leg room. This is where, just over there, that's where little Nairo Quintana sits. That's his favourite spot. All of the riders for the Grand Tours do have a favourite seat, but you know, Alejandro Valverde being the number one, lights look ahead. He wants to know where he's going. Now, these chairs don't just recline backwards, they don't only have a footrest, but you can also recline them sideways as well. So if you wanted, you could have a team meeting, revolve them around, have a bit of a chat, and they also move outwards as well. So you can change the configuration pretty easily. And again, really important if you are using this area to have a bit of a team meeting or a natter. With the unusually spacious configuration of seats, that's what gives this bus a real sense of freedom. Uh, again, a real attention to detail, corporate colors running all the way through. This isn't actually a carpet, it's a white clean surface, which is great when the riders come in from the rain and a really muddy race, for example. And again, when you stand up, no storage space on the left-hand side. Many of the team buses have storage left and right. Again, lots and lots of space, but storage at the top. Not so much in that one at the moment. There's some spare tires actually in there. It's moving along. In here, well, various things. It looks like we've got some uh, compression socks. Again, de rigueur these days. What else have we got? Ah, caps. I've seen some baseball caps knocking around. Just, uh, I'm sure they won't mind. Endure, are the brand? Ooh. Now one thing that I did notice straight away was a slightly elevated floor space. So we are walking a little bit higher than we do on other team buses. And the reason for that is because the storage underneath the bus is used to store bikes. Now Mobistar, I think, are the only team to store their bikes underneath the bus. Most teams obviously put them on top of the team car. Mobistar prefer to keep them underneath to keep them protected from the elements. There you go. Heading now midway down the bus, we've got one TV just behind us that I omitted to notice earlier on. This is the second TV and laid out very neatly, ready for use in the time trial is all the race radios that the riders will have. And of course, radios can now be used in any level of race as well. So these always charged up and ready to roll and obviously waterproofed too, so they don't get all sweaty. Now, midway through the bus, we come into the kitchen area. Now, I'm a little bit concerned. I haven't seen a coffee machine just yet. Hopefully it's tucked away somewhere. And also this would be an area where sometimes the Swanier will prepare the drinks, etc. So we've got complete all-in-one formula. This looks like a protein drink that the riders will have post-race. And what else have we got here? This isn't a brand I'm particularly familiar with. This is optimized casein and egg protein. So definitely post-race protein. And another one here, post-training. Again, revolutionary formula after training. Again, vitally important that they get those amino acids on board as soon as possible after the finish of a race. Tea and coffee making stuff, still no sign of a coffee machine. I am getting a little bit perturbed. Sink here, nice little uh, addition. You can have a, a flat surface to make way and make a little bit more surface space if the sink isn't in use, which is really cool. Cooker here, microwave. Water dispenser by the looks of it underneath there. We have found the coffee machine. I thought this was a water dispenser. I was right, but I was also wrong because thankfully Mobistar, like all the other Pro Tour teams, well, every team in fact, they have a coffee machine. And I've just ordered 
a cafe solo. So, oh, what have we got in here? Looks like we've got a cheeky couple of tipples for the bus drivers, perhaps, or even if they win a stage, a celebratory tipple for members of staff. What have we got in here? Oh, Scotch whiskey. Surely this isn't for the riders. I'm pretty sure it isn't. Got some Bacardi and a few other mixes in there. And I would imagine we've got some pretty uh, Spanish type drinks as well. There you are, Bassania a la Ruta. Bassano de Grappa. So we've got Grappa there. That looks very nice. I better put those back in there. Now this is a really nice little bespoke touch. What they've used there is a carbon spacer to stop the fridge doors opening. Look at that. Genius. So what have we got in the fridge? Turn the carbon spacer. Lots of uh, Coca-Cola, sugar drinks, uh, Aquarius. This is a very, very common isotonic drink that's great for after a race or even during a race. Lots of water again, and we've got some hams. Again, these may be for the Swan years to make some baguettes post-race, or even for the staff and driver of the bus. Doesn't seem particularly full at the moment, but I'd imagine midway through the race, this will be stocked um, completely full. And what have we got here? Again, a couple of little cheeky chocolates. What's my favorite one? I'm sure they won't mind me having a little cheeky chocolate. Oh, it's really nice. Always good for the morale, little piece of chocolate. Won't do you any harm at all. Moving a little bit further away from the kitchen now, we've got the traditional two showers, so plenty of space. Very nice uh, shower head if you want to have a close look at this. Look at that. Fully positional, multi-positional. I like that. Nice attention to detail. Almost a mini home from home in terms of shower quality, that is. Moving now to the very back of the bus. Again, very open plan, lots of space. And this is where the riders will get changed pre and post race and quite often where they'll have team meetings. There are actually 12 individual seats here. So you could have a couple of direct sportifs, team managers, um, and bit, having a bit of a chow down with the riders before a race. Uh, now each rider will have a seat. Um, most teams or many teams have the storage space with drawers underneath. But Mobistar, each rider will have an assigned space and underneath each seat is a lot of storage space. If you can just zoom in down in here. At the moment, not so much rider's kit, but a lot more post-race shake stuff. So we know there's something in each one of these. Uh, got lots of, uh, this one is clearly the cereal seat, just full of muesli. Before we end the tour of the Mobistar bus, let's have a look at the storage facility for the bikes underneath. <laughs> So this is the space underneath the bus that we were talking about in relation to uh, storing the bikes. Now the reason behind that, as I did allude to earlier on, is that Mobistar don't like, if they can, to put bikes on team cars because of the different weather conditions and it means that the team have to possibly wash them again once they've been on the, on the roof of 300 k's in the rain and also reduces fuel consumption on the team cars themselves. So they've had a specially bespoke custom bus with a raised floor to accommodate the bikes and you can just see here, there's no bikes in here at the moment, but I think you get the feel for the fact that you can store nine or 10 bikes in here relatively easily, as well as a few bags at the back as well. So there we have it. That was the Mobistar team bus tour. Definitely one of my favorites, but was it one of your favorites? Make sure you leave your comments down below. And for some more bus tours, how about heading up to our bus tour playlist by clicking just up here. And for our Giro d'Italia playlist, click just here down here. And to subscribe to GCA, it's absolutely free. Click somewhere here. And don't forget to share and like this video too.